Let's take a peek at probably the most popular of the layer styles, and that's, of course, bevel and emboss. What I like about bevel and emboss is how it kind of changes our perception of reality in that third dimension in a two-dimensional space. So open up bevel and emboss right here in your work file. Got two layers. One has the word emboss and one has a couple of hands in it right there. Let's start with emboss, the word. So we'll go ahead and select that layer and come down here and click bevel and emboss. Now you can see it's already giving me that impression of being embossed, which is exactly what it does. But we have several different ways we can work with it. We have an inner bevel. We have an outer bevel. We have an emboss itself. We even have things like pillow emboss and stroke emboss. Let's go back to inner for now. Our technique can be smooth, chisel hard, or chisel soft. Tell you what, everybody does embosses like this. Let's do something a little bit different. Let's take this back to smooth. Let's change the depth a lot. We're at 100% right now. Let's crank depth up to about, oh, say 300. What do you say? Let's go into size. Again, all you have to do is press the tab key to make this happen. We're going to change our size to about 18. And tab. And we're going to soften that guy down to about an 8. And what we wind up getting is, I don't know, a little bit of a softer, different kind, although it is an emboss, a different kind of softer, kinder, gentler emboss. Now, down here you have an angle, and that's the angle of the sun. The best angle is around 125. 120 is all right. Global light means that everything is working with the same sun angle. But you also have an emboss something that we haven't seen yet. It's called altitude. Now, altitude is the altitude, think of the sun, off the horizon. You get from 0 to 90 degrees. 0 would be right on the horizon, and 90 would be straight overhead. And you can try some different contours if you want to. Kind of interesting. Doesn't look too bad. Different ways to do it. This one is the normal. That's straight line. We'll take it back to that for now. Down here, your highlight mode, that's the highlights, and then the shadows are in screen mode and multiply mode. And sometimes you can achieve some interesting results by changing some of those. We'll put that back to multiply for now. And you can even change the colors and the opacity. Now, if we click OK, that's actually not that bad. It is a different way to use emboss, you know, a little bit different than that traditional chiseling kind of thing. Let's go ahead and go back again, double click on bevel and emboss. That's just the easiest way to get there. Let's take that back to reset right here. Now we've got a standard bevel again. Let's give that bevel a little bit of depth. Now that's kind of intensity and a little bit of size. And let's click OK. And let's take the fill off of that thing. Now see, this is where I like using an emboss in terms of it making it appear as if it's embossed right out of that layer that's underneath it. In reality, the reason it's doing that, obviously, is because it is transparent and it's looking through it. Now let's go back in one more time. And we can give it a little bit more intensity. Maybe even change that into something like a chisel to make it look a little bit more like it's maybe chiseled into something. Actually, I think I like smooth better, so I'm going to take it back to that. Up and down right here. Now, we've done this before, but it's basically our perception of what we see. We see it, in a sense, as coming out. At least most people would, because the light source is high, and it would lighten up these areas and darken that area. So simply by changing up to down, all we're really doing here is simply changing where the light source is. So the light source is coming from the bottom as opposed to the top. But in most cases, if it's done correctly, it really begins to change our perception of what we see. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I want to take that bevel and emboss and put it on another layer in this document. Now, in the last lesson in this chapter, we'll talk about how you can save these things like forever. But right now, 
my hands need the same type of look. Well, the easiest way to do that is hold down the Alt key. Now, if you don't hold the Alt key, you're moving it, not copying it. If I hold the Alt key down, Option key on a Mac, and drag it down on top of layer one until I see that box and let go, it will be more than glad to make a copy of it down there. I come up here, select it now. And I don't know if we want, I suppose we could change the fill on this one too. Well, there you go, embossing. But not just the emboss itself, the perception of what we see based on light sources. On to the next.